Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Huber again. The last few days we've been using a number strip to show us how we can add our numbers, how we can add our two parts together to find out how many we have all together. We have used a number bond, we have used a 10 frame, and now I'm going to teach you how to draw pictures to help you to solve a problem. So I have a little story problem, I'm gonna read it to you, and then I'm going to draw a picture to help me to solve this because every story problem has a question at the end and they want you to figure it out. Okay, and we're gonna do that by drawing a picture. So I'm gonna read what it says. It says, I see four birds in a tree. I see one bird on the ground. How many birds do I see all together? So I know I have birds in my story problem. I know that some are in a tree and I know that some are on the ground and I need to find out how many birds do I have all together. So I'm gonna draw a picture and when I draw a picture, it doesn't have to be super fancy, but it has to be able to help me to solve my problem. So I could draw the tree if I wanted. Okay, so if I was to just draw my tree, Okay, here's some branches. I'm just gonna draw a quick little picture to help me to visually see those birds. So I have some birds. Okay, how many birds are up in my tree? Four, right? So here's one. Here's two. Here's <laughs> three. And here's the other one, and here's four. So let's count how many birds are in my tree, right? One, two, three, four. So there's my birds in my tree. And how many were in my tree? Four of them, right? And how many birds did I see on the ground? I saw one. So let me draw that little bird who's down here on the ground. Okay, it doesn't have to be a super per perfect picture of a bird. It just has to help me to understand my story problem. So I have some birds in the tree and I have some on the ground. Now I'm going to write a number sentence to match my picture, okay? So how many birds are in the tree? Four. How many birds are on the ground? One. And how many birds do I have all together? Let's count, right? Four plus one. Let's count all of them. One, two, three, four, five. So four plus one makes five. And if I wanted to, I could draw a number bond to help me also. But right now I'm just worried about making sure I understand my problem. Okay, so here's our two parts. Four are in the tree. One is on the ground. And how many are all together? Five, right? These are our two parts. And we can put them together to make our whole or our total, right? These are those two parts that we remember. We used our two blue circles. And then when we put them together, we put them into the red circle. So I don't always, you're not gonna always see it with blue and red. Okay, you might see it look a little bit like this. Those are our two parts. And this is our total. Very good. All right, I'm gonna try another one with you. And then you are going to practice doing one all on your own. And you're gonna take a picture of it for me. All right, let's listen to this story problem. I have three blue balloons. My grandma gave me two red balloons. How many balloons do I have all together? It might say all together, it might say now, it might say in all. So I have a story here where my grandmother, I have some balloons and my grandmother is going to give me some more balloons. And how many balloons did I start with? Right, I started with three. What color were those balloons? They were blue. So I'm gonna just use the same colors to match just it helps me to understand. So I have three blue balloons. I'm gonna draw them. One, two, three. Okay, those are my three blue balloons. And then my grandma, she's gonna give me some more. How many did she give me? She gave me two. And what color were they? They are red. So I'm gonna draw those two balloons that my grandma gave me. One, 
two. Just like that. Now I'm going to write a number sentence to match my picture. All right, so how many blue balloons do we have? One, two, three. And how many red balloons do we have? We have two, right? One, two. And what does three and two make all together? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. So three plus two more equals five. All right, I'm just gonna show my number bond just to show you how we can fit our numbers in there. So we have a whole and we have two parts, right? One of my parts is my blue balloons. I have three blue balloons. I have, my other part is my two red balloons. And when I put them together, if I put all these balloons up here, what do I have? Good, I have five all together. I'll just do it this color, right? Because three and two is or makes five. So you can see how our number bond works with our story problem. So another really good strategy with learning how to add our numbers is by drawing a picture. And you can still see here that I'm still using my number bond. All right, this is where you are gonna work on your own story problem at your house. So here is my story and you are going to draw me a picture and a number sentence to match what my story problem says, okay? Let's read it, it says, I have two apples. My mom gave me two more. How many apples do I have now? All right, boys and girls, think about what the story is asking you. Think We're talking about apples, right? Okay, think about how many you have, how many your mom gave you. Okay, write me a number sentence to match the picture. First, draw me the picture. Okay, draw me what your picture would look like. Then write me your number sentence. You can challenge yourself and see if you can write the number bond to match your number sentence also. You don't have to, but you can if you wanna work extra, extra hard. All right, boys, great job. Great job learning how to draw pictures to help us to solve problems. All right, boys and girls, I'll see you next time.